Hello lovelies, good morning to you all. For my own subscribers, I'm saying a big thank you to you guys and for the returning subscribers. I really do appreciate you all. <laughs> good morning to you all for my own subscribers i'm saying a big thank you to you guys and for the returning subscribers i really do appreciate you all i appreciate you guys a lot for always watching my video and for liking and dropping a good comment for me you guys are wonderful i really appreciate you guys so today we are going to discuss very interesting topic blood oath. so you know i love you i really do love you and you love me as well since we love each other let's prove it let's see our love by blood covenant if you really know you love me we are going to do that if you can't do it that means that you don't love me is blood oaths really important is blood oaths is what is going to guarantee your relationship that you are going to seal it with blood oaths. It's part of business. They go into blood covenants just to see their, that they will not betray one another. And at the end of the day, they still betray each other. They betray each other because this person that is entering it on an oath with you, you don't know what the person is going to do, once going to do. If he leave you at that moment, you don't know what is going to do outside so why enter it on an oath or in the name of silly business or in the name of shutting someone's mouth or in the name of love or in the name of relationship enter it on an oath they didn't know that enter it on an oath with somebody you are giving the person your life the person is not the second owner of your life you are telling the person oh really i've given you my life take control of it that is what you are doing when you are into a blood oath with somebody. You are giving the person your life. In what aspect are you giving the person your life? You tell the person, I love you. You love me. Both of you. Okay, bring your hand. Let's just use something to mark it. You lick my blood, I will lick your blood. You are telling the person you are the second owner of me. That relationship... That you are selling with blood oaths. Did you know if the person you are with at that time is the right person for you? Did you know if that person is the person you are going to end your life with? Don't be blind, my people. They said love is blind. My dear, love is not blind. Love is for doing anything. We should always think twice. We should raise the advantage and the disadvantage of what we are going to do. So it's very wrong to enter into blood covenant with anybody or in the name of love or business or anything in this life. It's very wrong. Vow with your mind not entry into an oath with somebody. It's very wrong. Because you don't know what the future holds for you. You don't know what is going to happen in the future. You don't know if really you are blind, my dear. Love is not blind. It's very wide open. It can see everything. If love is blind, you cannot see the person you are entering into a relationship with. If love is blind, you cannot see the qualities you need from somebody, from that person. If love is blind, you would have ended up with somebody you don't want to live your life with. Love is not blind. Love is open. Open your eyes. We should not use that love is blind to deceive ourselves. By doing the wrong thing when you are in relationship you don't need blood oath to seal it because some people they are suffering today they are passing through hair all in the name of the mistake they made when they were with somebody that they thought that hey they are with the best person in the whole wide world and at the end when the relationship starts going they now find out that this is not really the kind of person I want to end my life with. This is not really the person I want in my life. I can't go on with this relationship. I can't continue with it. I'm tired. I'm fed up. 
and you are making a decision to quit it's not easy for you to quit because you have already entered into a, into blood oaths blood covenants with that person you told the person earlier that is you or never once you have entered into blood covenant with somebody it's very difficult for you to break that covenant it's very difficult especially when you are with the wrong person when you are with the wrong person and the person find out that okay you want to quit the, uh, this relationship both of you have swear and oath that is you or never the person will never break that oath because he will break up that relationship somehow in a psychiatric some people they are into a psychiatric home or in the name of they are frustrated they have made a mistake of entry into an oath with somebody they thought they are going to end their life with and at the end of the day they now find out that this is not the right person they have to quit and it's not easy for them any longer to quit so it's very difficult so entry it all blood oath with somebody shine your eye my people don't say love is blind and make a wrong make wrong mistake you are going to regret in your entire life don't do that somebody that really love you be it blood oath or not the love will stay somebody that love you will not force you to enter into an oath or into a blood covenant before doing anything we should always think twice we should raise the advantage and the disadvantage of what we are going to do so it's very wrong to enter into blood covenant with anybody or in the name of love or business or anything in this life is very wrong vow with your mind not entry into an oath with somebody is very wrong because you don't know what the future holds for you you don't know what is going to happen in the future you don't know if really you are with the you don't know if you are with the right person or not so please please we should think twice before embarking into anything in this life blood oaths is very wrong we should never do it we should never allow someone to influence us to do it because of love somebody that really do love you we don't ask you to enter into blood oaths with him or her because relationship is 50 50 is it that it work or it doesn't so when it work you continue with it when it doesn't so you move you get out of the relationship and look for someone else instead of tying yourself down or in the name of love we should never do that we should never do that so this is the little thing i said i should discuss with my people today so if you know you haven't subscribed to my shiny and you're watching me right now what are you waiting for kindly help your sister by hitting that red button and also turn on your bell so that anytime i upload you'll be notified they will tell you king king stress all of upload another video again thanks to you my lovelies i really appreciate you all and stay tuned for more video i remain your humble host stress the love that is what I'm going to say right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for coming, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching my video. That is why I'm saying you all are amazing. You all are wonderful. You all are so, 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 so amazing, my people. That is why Shrace the Love is saying, You all are so wonderful. You all are so, 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 so wonderful. Thanks to you guys. Thanks to you. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all you are doing. Bye for now. We we'll see some of that.